Hello teachers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Google form using your Google account. You can use this for a lot of different reasons. I have used it in the past for surveys and data, but let's look at how we can use it to create a quiz for our students to take. If you click your waffle grid at the top of your Google webpage, you look down, there's all the different apps that you can see in Google. Right here, it's purple, is Google Forms. If you click on that, I would start by going to blank. So up at the top of the screen, you can see here, I, I call it with the kids, I call it the rainbow plus sign. If you click that, it's going to open up a new form. It's very straightforward to do. All you have to do, it gives you an untitled question. I would start by, if you look over here, <clears throat> where it's already defaulted to multiple choice, I would click that to short answer, and where it says untitled question, I would type name. That's the way your students can type their name. Make sure you click under every single one the button that says required. If it's not purple, it won't. it's not necessary for the kids to fill out. If you need them to answer a question or fill something out, make sure you click where it says required. Then right over here on the right side of the screen, there's a little tiny menu. If you click the plus sign, you'll be able to add another question. You can do this as many times as you like. So I'm, I'm going to make a silly question just because I want to show you the process. You can type, I'm going to say, what is the name of our school? So you can see that it says right over here, right now it says short answer. I'm going to click it so it says multiple choice. You can add as many options as you need to. I would, where it says add option, you can click there and you can type brought and over here you can say, Smith, and you can add everything you need. Again, type required at the end. You also can add different questions that are have different formats. So you can have a short answer. If you have a question with multiple possible answers, you can do check boxes and they'll check every box that they need. You can do a drop down menu, which I don't necessarily think applies to lower elementary, but it is possible. And for our friends in the upper grades, you can select paragraph and that will give the kids more space to type. Super straightforward, I hope you like it. See you next time.